I was asked to balance this equation here. We have CO2 plus H2O. We get C6H12O6 plus O2. So let's give it a try. I've already counted the atoms up. The thing to be careful here is we have two oxygens here and just one here. So two plus one, that gives us the three. Product side, we have six oxygens here and two here. So six plus two, that gives us eight. Make sure you count those up correctly. We'll leave the oxygen atoms to last. That's because this O2, that's just O2. So when we change this coefficient here, it won't change the number of carbons or hydrogens. So we'll balance oxygen last. Let's put a six in front of the CO2, one times six. That balances the carbon. And let's update the oxygens. Six times two is 12 plus the one here with the water, 13. We could just update the hydrogens by putting a six here because two times six, that would give us 12. Then we can update the oxygens one more time. So now we have six times two, that's 12 plus six times the one six, that gives us 18. So over here, the way to think about this is we have our six oxygens here plus some number that's going to equal 18. Six plus 12, that's 18. So we could put a six right here because we have our six, two times six is 12 and six plus 12 is 18. We're done. This equation is balanced. So you see that it's really helpful to leave the oxygen to last because we could change the coefficient here. Didn't change the carbons or hydrogens. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for CO2 plus H2O gives us C6H12O2 plus O2. Thanks for watching.